Hello, today I would like to talk about my new pre-love Oscar de la Renta tote made out of leather and this new bag I got from the Dillo's website by a designer called Fucker. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. I've only seen a couple of these bags around um, and I was looking for a lambskin bag and that's how I found this one. First of all, going back to the Oscar de la Renta tote, I saw that back in December, Target did a collaboration once again with Newman Marcus, and they had a tote bag made out of canvas by Oscar de la Renta. And I fell in love with it. I was like, I want that tote bag. So I did my research and I saw on the pre-love market, it was reselling, I think like $20, $30 plus shipping. And I almost bought it. And then I run into this bag from a seller that I purchased previously from. She sells pre-love designer bags more on the higher end. And this is one of the bags she had. She was asking, I believe, $100. But I messaged her and I was like, hey, it's me once again. Um, I really like your Oscar de la Renta bag. And um, I was wondering if you will be able to accept $30. Um, she messaged me back and said, yeah, sure. I will accept $30 for the bag. Um, she also paid for the shipping, which is a great deal. Um, so I call this bag a steal. Um, she just wanted the bag to go to like a good home because she's had it for sale for quite a while and no one was buying it. But here it is. Instead of a tote canvas bag, $20, $30, I used $30 and I purchased this and free shipping. It has the signature Oscar de la Renta lock and then that unlocks. And it has a couple compartments the front pocket and that's where the little turn lock comes from um the pockets are like this because I sanitize the back even though the back is in great condition no stains nothing it has an inside pocket let me put it back but I want to show how the pocket inside it's still almost like brand new and the lining what's this I don't know if you can see it on camera it says Oscar de la Renta it's hard to see, but the whole lining says Oscar de la Renta. She also certify her bags, like the authenticity of the bag. So if you have any question, she can prove they're authentic. <coughs> so it has the gold plate that says Oscar de la Renta. Um, one thing about this bag, it actually came with this extra compartment that you can put in in the middle and click to the size right here and that also has a zipper so it's like you have like a bag organizer but I like that it comes on and off I'm probably gonna throw this in the washer even though it's still new I don't think whoever had this bag used the bag that much maybe it was a gift the color is ivory so I'm Really wanted this bag because I'm already looking into summer bags and I see myself wearing it. I'm five and one. And this is what the bag looks like. Um, then you put the little turn lock here. Close it. I know the detail about the bag. It has feet. And I don't know if you see it, but engraved oh this is oscar de la renta it was kept in very good condition the only i think places you could see a little worn so this little thing right here the little leather thing there i'm looking forward to taking this back out i may buy a little charm to hang from here to here like a little gold charm i'm not sure yet very simple but I like the fact that it has different pockets and I can put a lot of stuff in it. Great deal. Um, I would say it's a steal. 
more of a deal. Um, $30 plus tax, I think it was like 31 or 32 after tax and free shipping. So can't beat that. So this is one of my favorite purchases that I made recently. And another good purchase, I don't know if the prize was a deal, I was looking for a lambskin bag. Um, and I had a gift card from Dillers that I wanted to finish the money I had left on. And I wasn't sure what I wanted. And I saw this bag popped up and I was like, oh, I like it. Lambskin. It has these two little handles here. But it also has a strap that it detaches if you don't want the bag to be a strap. If you just want to make it, I would say this is like a day bag with the strap. And if you take the straps off, let's see here. You can take the strap off and put any other strap if you don't want this one. You can turn it into like a knife. I saw there was a couple of them on Mercari, um, and they weren't that expensive. But this specific one, because it's quilted and lambskin, it's a little more pricey and it's hard to find on the free love market. It has one zipper in the inside and light lining. Um, if for some reason you don't want it as a top handle bag, or as a crossbody, you just want to use it as a pouch. You always have the option of putting the rings in the inside. You know how I mentioned how I like pouches for my bag. And there you go. I can just throw this inside any of my um, big totes or like my Neverfull. Um, it holds quite a lot of things. I'm going to show what's in my bag. I actually was using this bag today. You know, I got a couple compliments from different people, so that's always nice to see that other people like get other than yourself. Here's my agenda, my car keys. This is a phone charger, a leaf, a lip gloss, power bank. Let's see, I have mask. Compact mirror, hip, earbuds, um, my little wallet, a car holder, my receipts. And that's what it looks like on the inside. So you can fit a lot of stuff in here, and it's very light. It's not heavy. It's very, very light, very soft. Um, if you're afraid of scratching the bag, maybe I wouldn't recommend it because the leather is very soft. So, and I can see now marks from the ring. You can the rings being down, but that doesn't bother me. Uh, I got it from the dealer's website. It retails for $168, but that's because this specific one, it's lambskin. Another store that sells this designer bag, it's Nordstrom, and I saw a couple of them from different, um, types of leather and color and those are reselling for like 69 70 dollars so i'm only paying the extra because of the kind of leather and i had a gift card so technically i wasn't really paying for it i paid for the whole bag and i think i have like two or three dollars left but i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that and this is her signature arrow it does come with a dust bag. And this is the tie. And then it came with this care booklet. And I believe this designer is from New York. I checked out her website. She has some pretty nice stuff in there. The care booklet. And like always, it says if you want to clean the bag, take it to a professional cleaner. But I never take my bags to a professional cleaner unless it was Coach and they already do that complimentary cleaning of your bags. That's it. I hope you like both of my bags. 
Um, I'm very happy with them. It's something different that I didn't have. Um, I do like my luxury bags, but you can find some really nice bags that are at, at price friendly and good quality. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. One more thing, I saw this bag, because I did my research on this bag, um, and two pre-love websites, one of them being the real real, they had this bag, um, it, but it was like snake skin, not just plain leather, and that one was reselling for $180. And then I saw the same one in another website, it had sold for like 100 and something, I don't remember now, so that was another way I double checked the bag was real. Even though I purchased from this seller before, like I mentioned, and she's pretty honest and very nice. I just think she had this bag for the longest time and she just wanted to find it and get home because she paid for the shipping, so I'm not sure how much profit she made out of it. So, all right. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.